Okay, so if you don't know, this is clearly a gay dating sim. So we're gonna play this game. I'm playing this right now. I've been wanting to play this game for a while, but... Okay, I need instructions. Okay, sure, instructions. Oh my god, so I can literally... I, if I don't like someone's beard, I can change it mid-game. Love that. Ew, Mark Matthews. Okay, this is one thing I don't like about this game. Why am I white? I look like the dude bro of all dude bros, and my name is Mark Matthews. Yes. I don't like the name Mark. Mark reminds me of the neighborhood kid who used to fling cat poop on my head. Okay. I mean, I want to change the name Matthew. Like, I'm just upset. Why can't I be Asian? Can I be like a white guy that was adopted in an Asian family? Like, this is this is clearly very important to me. But I, I can't give him like, I can't give him an Asian ass name. <laughs> Uh, for many, many reasons. Oh my god, this is gonna be me and Eddie's white gay kid. No, 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 no. Oh my god, this is this is Mark Fan Rui. He goes to Orland University. Okay. You feel like you've been missing out. In fact, you feel like you faked your way through the last three and a half years of your life. I mean, what was happening before that? You don't want to go through the motions anymore. You want to stop pretending. Now, if only your palms would just stop sweating. Why are you afraid to come out to your parents, Mark? Both your parents are gay. <laughs> You're not a kid anymore. Your last semester of college starts tomorrow. Oh my god. I graduated college and it's not been long enough for that to just... Just give me like a whole... Oh, the body, body chills and stuff. You gave yourself a deadline and you're sticking to it, damn it. Everything's gonna be just fine. Remember, whatever happens, try not to throw up. At least not on the carpet. Like a cat. <laughs> um, it's a shag. <laughs> Hard to clean. Penny and Ian into... Okay. These are like... I don't know. I was gonna say these are gay-ass roommates, but they have pretty straight-looking expressions. You know how you see someone's, like, face and they look kind of basic? I don't know if I'm making any sense. You're gonna tell me what a fantastic roommate I am, and you'd like to take over my dish duties this week. Well, er... Oh, yeah, it just really annoys me that I can't change my face. Like, did I did I miss that? Like, all, all games, there's a change face setting, but in this game, left is by at least. Ooh, okay, that's, that's good to know. Get a grip, you can do this. You're my best friends. We've shared everything together. Everything. Hopes, fears, dreams, playlists. I can't I can't relate to this because <laughs> it's <laughs> like it's like too basic. Like I don't I don't know everyone's like ethnicity here. She might be like Asian or something or I don't know, Hispanic, but I'm just like <laughs> I, I just I just have so much going on in my I had so much going on in my life. In, high, in, in in college, it would have been like racism, sexism. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm gonna stop trying to compete with this guy's issues. Toothbrushes. Oh dear. You say that almost every morning, Ian. Oh, that's kind of nasty, guys. Sorry. Go on, Mark. You've obviously got something important to say. I feel like they should have seen this coming. Their stares penetrate you. Clear throat, sweat beads across your forehead. I mean, these are these are your buddies. I mean, I would hate for you to come out to... I mean, the buddies you choose in college, right? And you're coming out to them. I, I don't know, maybe this is the gay, cis, white man experience. Given you're mo my most loyal, trusted, worthy friends, there's something I've been meaning to tell you. Okay, so when I was watching Call Me Kevin play this, he kept not trying to come out and the game will actually let you troll it for a little bit you can keep not trying to come out and then the game will literally threaten to restart if you don't come out and so that was a whole thing but because i've had that spoiled it for myself i'm just gonna say i'm gay high five is this some kind of solidarity thing like when someone says we're all one race the human race wow he totally stole my moment Oh, the music stops? Just... Whoop. What? What is with those faces? 
ew, it was right. Like, like, fear and concern couldn't be me. I made sure everyone knew I was gay in college. I mean, not the beginning of college. Towards the end of it. These friends are canceled. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Mark? This is major. Wow, wow, wow. Now I know I've been ignoring all those girls busting down your bed. So no one has a gay dart. <laughs> Hi, Ben. Thanks for joining. No one has a gay dart in this game. Oh, God, Penny. Just because Mark won't date your weirdo cousin. My cousin's not a weirdo. She carries her own spork and she won't eat without it. That's seven leagues. I, I kind of want to investigate. I, I saw in this game, you can, like, you have a phone and you can download an app, like a dating app. But there's one dating app that's clearly meant to be Grinder, and there's another dating app with women. And I, I'm like, if, if they can let my character be bi, I want my character to be bi. Like, we can be a little bi family. Let's not deep into weirdo territory. That's quirky and cute. Oh, brother. Anyway, I do have another cousin that you might be interested in, Mark, named Philbert. Of I mean, okay, I literally just came out like two seconds ago and you are already trying to set me up. Like, these might as well be his parents. Quit pawning off your freaky family tree on him. That is a little bit weird. I'm just excited, okay? Is the music gonna restart? Mark, I'm happy you told us. We can talk about my cousin later. Do you have anything to say to me, Ian? Yeah, Ian's a homophobe. Fan Ruiz, I for one am disappointed. I real, I was really hoping, really, really hoping you were going to announce that you'd be doing the dishes. But about being gay, seriously good for you, man. I feel privileged you shared this with us. That took a lot of guts. Yeah, Philbert. Okay, the only time I've heard of Philbert was like, who's actually named Philbert? Like, cause that's the name of a TV show slash person in Bojack Horseman. That's the only time I've heard of Philbert. What, what's it like to finally be out, dude? I mean, your friends are the first people you come out to. So like literally the, the battle's just begun unless he's making a Facebook post. I feel like he looks like every Marvel superhero. Like, literally every single one. Like, they're all the same to me. That's, that's literally what he looks like to me. It's hard to explain, but I kind of feel like my life has been somebody else's. Is this supposed to be meta? Oh my god, he's crying. Aww. We're so happy for you, Mark. Your life, that must have been... I, I need to stop trying to compare this guy's life with mine. Um, the weight of your long-kept secret falls from your shoulders and you feel lightness. You want to laugh and weep. A beautiful sense of relief. Things really couldn't have gone better. I, I read really fast, so do let me know if I'm reading too fast or if you're just waiting for me to skip through this, if you've already seen this, or if you just don't care, you want to get to the, the clicking action or the homoerotica. Mark, we should commemorate your big day. Hang on a sec. What was that for? She whips out the camera. I'm taking a photo of you for my tanning spray app. It's my latest project. It takes your photo and gives you a totally di awesome tan. See? This is so white gay. This is like peak white gay. Once I get all the bugs out, I'm going to sell a million units. I hope there's not only one dateable Asian guy. Because there usually only is with these games. Now with Dream Daddy, there weren't that many guys. There were maybe like seven. So I think there was one. Maybe two. The, the trans guy kind of looked Asian to me. But I'm not sure. But there was at least one Asian guy. But he was so hot that it kind of just... It was okay. But I don't know about... Yes, he was orange. Once we get all the bugs out, I'm gonna sell a million units. You gotta help me beta test this. But you know what? At least it was an obviously fake orange tan. Like it was, it's like the Trump era. It's like the Jersey Shore to the Trump era orange tan. 
The problem is these fake tans have gotten like so like realistic that you're actually capable of blackfishing people, whereas before that wasn't remotely possible. You might have surpassed your last app in idiocy. What happened to that last project of yours? Campus Mapper, was it? That sounds that, that sounds like an app I would have used in college. Wasn't it supposed to help students find their classes, but for some reason people kept walking into traffic? And a couple of pesky bugs, nothing major. I remember you were testing it the day we met. If you hadn't watched, yelled watched out, I would have stepped right into an open drain and landed on the bodies of your beta testers. <laughs> Shut your pie hole, Ian. Campus Mapper is still an alpha. I'm gonna be a millionaire once tanning spray is released. And who will you be? The guy who cleans the monkey cage at the zoo. Dang. Look here, ignoramus, is that how you say it? Ignoramus? Being a zoologist means more than just cleaning cages. I also get to, get to, wait, no, that's about, I, I was just reading this, um, true crime story about, like, UC Davis, and how there's, like, a lot of people studying in science, like, health for people, but also health for animals. I'm just like, would that be a major over there? Um, wait, no, that's about it. God damn it. Okay, time to celebrate. Let's harp head to- Oh, they have a Charlie's too. I wonder where this takes place. Because this is giving me strong Midwest vibes. You know what I mean? It's the only gay bar in this- Okay, yeah, definitely Midwest. This is definitely not <laughs> SF. Jesus, Penny, do you realize it's been a couple of seconds since Mark came out? Seconds. Okay. What's that supposed to mean? Besides, there's something I gotta check out there. Oh my god. She has an ulterior motive. Ian, why don't you join us? No, I gotta head over to Zoe's. Her again. He just doesn't want to be at a gay bar. I can never tell when you two are together. How many times have you broken up now? Oof. Yeah, we're about to have the talk. Hoping she dumps me before I have to help her move into her new place. Oh my god. You know, Ian, call me crazy, but you could always be an adult and break it off first. What? No, the people people would totally think I was dumping her just to avoid helping her move. <laughs> what was I thinking? Me and my wacky suggestions. Anyhow, sorry to bail, man, but we are so hanging out next week and tonight. You have fun with little Miss Zuckerberg here. <laughs> Goodbye, Ian. Imagine if, like, really bad allegations came out and that was just totally, like, in bad taste. Like, if, if he said Mrs. Musk instead, that would be, like, now Elon Musk is, like, clearly not cool, except to the people who are, like, also not cool. But, like, I love that people would just assume that he dumped her not to help her move. <laughs> oh my god. I'm trying to think if I have an anecdote. There was this guy I was dating and he was gonna cook lobster dinner for me and my roommate at the time and he kept canceling it and at the very end he was like oh let's move it to another weekend because you know he would have to buy the lobster cook it you know butter it make a whole lobster dinner and then finally my my roommate jennifer at the time was like he you know what he ended just ended it with you amy because he didn't want to make the lobster i was like cackling <laughs> Haha, <laughs> outing. Okay, the real reason why he broke up with me was actually worse than that. I swear to fucking god. Like, I'm embarrassed to, to even say it. Outing, I slay me! Designated driver, relaxing evening at a new bar. No pressure, it'll be fun. Frankly, you do want to celebrate tonight. Are you ready for your first- Oh my god, your first gay bar? Your first gay bar. Come on, Mark. It's not like we've even got homework yet. What are you gonna do? Kick it with your goldfish? He's got a name, Penny. Okay, I I have gold I have goldfish trauma. I literally have goldfish trauma because that's the kind of environment I grew up with. So while Mark is worrying about you know like coming out for the first time, I had to like <sighs> it's gonna be too dark for me to talk about, but a lot of animals have died in the in the fan household. No longer in the Fan Ruiz household, just in the Fan household. Um, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> 
Drama. Okay. Um. What would be a cute? I'm. No. I'm trying to think. I I, I want to name it after a drag queen or something, but I I also don't want it to come off as like rude somehow. Um. I'm trying to think. I you know what this? I'm gonna name the fish lady Camden. That sounds like a regal name, Lady Camden the fish. Lady Camden will be okay for one night. A oh, beautiful. Oh, I cannot go if I want to. That's hilarious because I did, I did. The version I watched with um, Call Me Kevin playing, he went to the bar, but he's he's been skipping through a lot of things. Ooh, are you stumped by my admission? Yes and no. You've had your suspicions about me. Oh no, no one could have guessed. You talk in your sleep. Wow. Exactly what have you heard? What are you telling me? You seem to have a thing for shakely butts, but it's only now I realize it's not the female dirty air that you were. I mean, you're the one with violet hair. What's your story? We're just gonna stop talking about this now. So I've got a question. You have a question. Virgin, yes or no? Oh. I have dated a couple of girls. You know what I mean. The D, the Wang, the Major Vein, the Beef Bayonet, the Steam and Semen Roadway, the Schmeckle. I might have done a thing or two. Oh my, wait, oh my god, let me guess. It was a guy from your, oh my god, he did water polo, water polo team. He does look like a water polo player. Locker room post game, you hit the showers with your teammate. Oh my god, the smell of chlorine though, that like stays. That like, I heard it stays like on your nether regions after you've been, this is just something I've heard. Not experienced. I could have experienced it, but I don't know. That was just something I read from like, you know, those college forums. Yeah, bold Q, absolutely. Like just, just, I was like, you know, he, he takes an inch and then they, they, they move a mile with the questions. You hit the showers with your teammate. He's soaping himself, but he's struggling because his arm is in a sling. What? A sling? Hell no wonder you, you had such a bad season. You literally cannot play water polo if you have one bad arm. You need one arm to tread water to keep yourself up. I know because I played water polo. You need the other arm to, to do that. I mean, you can tread water with just your legs, but then like, how effective are you going to be with one hand? So he says, yo, what up, Fan Ruiz? I can't reach the spot, bro. You've been reading those weird stories written by teenage girls again, haven't you? Ugh. And you say, which spot, bro? How romantic. And he goes, the spot right he here, man, beneath my balls. God, just, okay, I I'm done with this story. I want to go to the bar. Okay, great. Let's, let's go to the bar. He takes an inch. So not a virgin then. Oh, good one. I wish I had like fireworks to give you. I, I, there's like so many things I don't know about like streams yet. Okay. Um, about like, you know, the, the things that like appear on your screen or whatever. I gotta look into that. But anyway, after making a few er errant, errant turns onto the one-way streets, Penny parks the block, the car a block away from Charlie's. Taking a deep breath, you enter the dimly lit bar. Oh, this is a nice looking, this is, y'all, this is like cleaner and bougier than like 90% of all the gay bars. Maybe 100% of all the gay bars in SF. Am I right? Like, come on. This is like, yeah. So Mark, what are you drinking? Let me get you something. <laughs> this is funny. Milk, white, creamy, like my um, whiskey beer. I'm I'm a beer person, shwanky. So I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna do a beer dark bitter like my soul. Okay. Be cool, Mark, be cool. This place isn't much different than any of the bars near campus. Sure, the crowd is older. Okay, yeah, that's, that's about right. Might be a few more men here and there, but they're just uh, here to uh, chill out, right? This is nerve wracking. In the past, you've always been able to hide behind the convenient, if uncomfortable, disguise of heterosexuality. If you wanted to check someone out, you could do it discreetly and not have to worry about consequences. 
This, however, is an entirely new frontier. You sense the weight of several eyes grazing over you. You swear you're being checked out, but you're too terrified to look up and confirm it. You hear someone yell, hey, in your direction. You glance up and see a guy in the corner staring straight back at you. He waves. Wave back. He's not really your type, but you wave at him anyway. Paul! Unfortunately, you realize just then that he was waving at some guy who just walked through the door. You pretend you were covering your mouth to yawn. I've done that many times. Has Penny ordered drinks yet or what? All right, one celebratory drink. Only one coming right up. I want to know about whoever made this game. Andraste! Okay, yeah, the, the ketchup was the right a option because then you're able to completely save yourself. I hate it when that happens. I also hate it when that happens. I think one of my biggest pet peeves is when someone is has either my name, which isn't super often, Amy, or their name Jamie, because my ears will just catch on to the, the part that sounds like my name. And especially when they're like popular, I just, my attention keeps being diverted, which is bad enough when I have ADHD, but I'm just like, ugh, I feel so unpopular and called out, but also it's not for me. The bartender will have it for you in a sec. I'm gonna go to the restroom I'll be right back. Maybe it's my chance to make a run for it. Don't you even think of ditching me here, Mark. What are you even talking about? Already this place is like a second home. I feel like I know what kind of guy this guy is. Mm-hmm. You sit down and wait for your order. Bartender hands you a drink. You sip it nervously. But have you all ever had like, you know, your first time going to a bar? Were you all like me where you didn't really have that many close friends? Or like queer friends at first so you like kind of come out and you go to a straight bar by yourself and you end up chatting this like kind of like older lesbian lady at this place called like i mean trying to remember where it's called okay i i had like a moment like that like in pasadena and it was fun i remember that day that was when i found out i got accepted into uc irvine on like the bart back um not the bar back, it was in LA, so it was the metro back. But do y'all have any fun, like, first time sort of, like, gay bar experiences or bars in general? And yes, please tell me why you hate bars, because um, I don't doubt you. I know there's a million and one reasons. So, never been to a gay bar in the US. Wait a minute. Wait, so tell me again, Ben, where... Wait, no, no, no. You're from the U.S., but you only went to gay bars. Bars in the U.S. are whole, are weird as a whole anyway. They're definitely, I feel like they definitely vary region to region, for sure. But yeah, tell me, tell me about, I'm from the U.K. Okay, I feel like I should, I should have known this. I should have known this. But now I know this. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed, I'm just gonna continue on with this story. <laughs> so I'm gonna stare at so I don't have to look up. Peer into your glass, try not to make eye contact with anybody. So we have a whole group going on. So, you feel a tap on your shoulder. Ha, you piss faster than anybody I know. Thanks. I want, I want you all to decide. Should I go for this guy? He's, okay, you know what? He looks like a clean cut Draco Malfoy. Like, like just just so much so, so much white but anyway um <laughs> i vote now should i go for this guy or not after years of rigorous training somebody finally noticed <laughs> i'd almost given up <laughs> his speed his speed compliments what oh my god i'm terribly sorry i thought you were somebody else it's my fault for sneaking up on you <laughs> this accent pass oh, we start over i'm alex can i buy you another drink already i'm i'm over this as a slytherin gotta recommend not going home with a slytherin it's it's a no on this guy but you know what oh ouch turn around and ignore him you know okay you know what i'm gonna do because i never get this people never buy me drinks almost ever I'm gonna let him buy me a drink and I'm gonna decline. Like, I don't know how the story's gonna go. Maybe like if I say yes, I'm str I'm straight up gonna sleep with him, but I'm like, come on, that's... Scott 
much. So do you come here often? <laughs> Uh, pubs in the UK have a long tradition of being community, even fa family gathering places. Yeah, yeah, that's... I definitely, I, I definitely get that. I love an Irish pub. Like, I didn't realize that until later, but Irish? Irish pubs are fun. Um, I went to an Irish pub in Italy. And it's about what you would expect of an Irish pub in Italy, because it served Italian food and also... Irish-ish? American food, but the food was good, and that's that's really all that matters. Do you come here often? Uh, let me just read all this. Okay, it's so first time here. Not bad, kind of a cool vibe. Not really. This is my first time here. I just came out today. Come in, okay, so I'm gonna say yes because I have a feeling he doesn't. I don't know. I'm just gonna be like honest. Like, do you really want someone that's a baby queer? Never been here before. I came out today. My friends dragged me here. Isn't it funny how these things happen? <laughs> okay. Really? You came out today? That's terrific. I'll toast to that. It's been a little overwhelming. <laughs> that sounds like a hell of a food combination. Yeah. Um, I think we got... I don't I actually don't remember what Italian food I ate at the Irish pub, but I think I got a beer as well. I don't think I had very many beers when I was in Italy, but the Irish pubs definitely had like a, a wide selection of beer. I bet, but you know, you seem to be handling it just fine. I'll always remember coming out as both the most difficult and rewarding thing I've ever done. <laughs> Aside from the one time I tried to bathe my cat while shirtless. I like that he has a cat, but I, I think the whole thing is you... Okay, yeah, that's that was his mistake. Because you're supposed to, like, wear something so that when they try grabbing onto you... So we have some peanut butter fans here. Um, first thing I want to mention is that there's, like, a TikTok going around if you, like, say your cat's name backwards it's something interesting or funny <laughs> it's gonna show do you want to see how i got these scars <laughs> is um peanut butter's name backwards is um red tub red red tub a nip red tub a nip or if you call her pina and that's backwards it's just a nip red tub a nip it's very cute um also eddie bathed pina this one time because she accidentally i think yeah, I think she peed on herself when we had to take her to the vet. She just couldn't hold it anymore. But aside from that, she was really good. And so she was such a sweet cat because he just, like, had some water in the tub and was just, like, cleaning her. And she was just, like, meh, meh. Like, she, she kind of, like, tried to, like, escape once. But, like, she was really sweet. She wasn't scratching. She was just like, Daddy, what's going on? I don't like this. She was very, very sweet. Actually, now that I think about it, that wasn't rewarding at all. But I digress. Congratulations to you. You must be walking on air right now. Yeah, I feel like my life's already a hundred times better since this morning. That's good. Alex toasts to you. To an authentic life, then. Your eyes linger right each You know, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of feeling this guy. But... By the way, I didn't catch your name. Who the fuck is Filbert? Who is Philbert? I'm gonna save. Oh, I can't save right now. Do you come here off? <laughs> Fucking Eddie. Whenever, whenever I'm like working on something, I'm trying to focus. He like scooches up next to me. He's like, hey, do you come here often? <laughs> he likes to, he likes to do that. <laughs> Apparently he and his brother like to do it a lot. Okay, I'm gonna save. Um, options, though. What was his name again? I don't remember names. I'm trying to see if... Is he Alex? Was that his name, Alex? Oh! Okay. Oh, no, the beard. Oh, no. Oh, no, the beard helps. Oh, no, the beard helps. He actually looks like a character, like a grown version of a character I came up with, like an original character. Haha, <laughs> this chart. The chart or this chat? Um, yes, okay, wait, wait, wait. Yes, this chart. 
there's a lot I can do here. You can censored on off. I would love no. I actually I I think I would die of embarrassment if I had the uncensored version on because that's actually happened once. I had to delete it from my uh, Twitch scream. Um, but uh, yeah, you can you can alter all of these things. It's the world is your oyster. I hate to cut this short, but I have to get up early tomorrow. Can we continue this chat sometime? I'd love to get your number. The body hair indexed. Condoms on it. Yes. Um, so when I started this game, and you all missed this because it was so early on, it said that this game has adult themes. It's not for children. But more importantly, that certain things happen in this game that explore fetishes that may not be safe. We encourage you to look into safe sex. I thought it was hilarious it had that that thing up there. Um, okay, we were going with no. We're, we're definitely not sl sleeping with him. Um, are we gonna give him the number? Are we gonna give him the number? I, I'm gonna ask y'all. Also, it, it is actually a while now. I wonder where... I bet I bet the purple hair girl, I don't remember her name. Purple hair girl was just like, ooh, like taking pictures, trying to get like um a tan version of him or something like that. I think I'm gonna default with this one. Can you give and ghost? I could give and ghost. But you know what? If you keep watching, I kind of had something spoiled to me. No, I'm I'm just gonna I'm gonna be me. Okay. We'll talk soon. Congrats on coming out today. It's a nice ego boost. Whoa, I took forever, didn't I? Were you writing a novel in there? <laughs> Why is he doing, he's doing like the, like the cat lips. Dude, I was loving that restroom. Who, who loves a restroom at a gay bar? Definitely not one where like, there's ever performers because come on the public rest bathroom app list says one of the best restrooms in the city five stars from over a hundred users that is actually hilarious because someone actually made a chart of the best bathrooms to poop at in san francisco and so of course oasis was number one um i feel like the lookout got got shafted a little bit i, I would have put it up, up higher maybe even like next to number one um, I, I enjoy going there, but, um, and then Powerhouse, of course, was dead last. The Eagle I would put next to Powerhouse, but yes, yeah, someone made a whole list of, like, your comfort of doing number two <laughs> at the restrooms. Italian marble counters, Brazil, I mean, how do you know where they're made from? Brazilian hardwood floors, free breath mints. I've never been to a place with free candy in the bathrooms. Damn, this place is the real deal. So anything happened while I was gone? A tall tree is still my number one. I love that. I wanna I wanna screenshot that that comment. I won't, but like uh man, what do I say? Do I tell her? She's so nosy. I'm gonna say not no, not really. Okay, so I guess she wasn't watching. Next time I'll be your wing woman, guys will be lining up to get a crack at you. Just one more drink. It is our last semester. I gotta get off to a good start. Woo! Three drinks, three drinks. Oh, okay. We don't pick a drink. Eager to get back to coding. Okay, so she literally is a coder. Man, you sure are antsy. You have to stop yourself from checking your messages every five minutes. I wonder when I get my phone. This living room, I'm trying to remember. I, I feel like this living room setup is actually like a lot a, like a lot of living rooms I've seen from my queer friends in the Bay Area. There's like a lot of tea. There's like a brightly colored, you know, thing on the couch. Said he was having a busy day tomorrow. Of course he's not gonna call tonight. He doesn't seem like the kind of guy to play games. What does that even mean? You're horny. <laughs> Your balls definitely feel like they hit DEFCON. What does that mean? DEFCON 1, you need to get off. Oh no, I'm scared. When am I gonna be choosing? I'm very open about my love of piss funnels and my hate of public restrooms. But what what designates a piss funnel? Cause I'm I'm thinking of Oh, you're thinking of like like those things that you use so that you can pee standing up. Okay. I, I assume that's what you mean. Something that's rolled over to the way to the bottom of the sink. You pick it up. A tube of lube. It's probably Ian's. 
Ew! Borrow his lube. That's lewd. Are you kidding? Leave it there. I... This is funny. Can I save? <laughs> I hate that it won't let me save when I'm right in the middle of choosing something. Like, are you kidding me? This is when you would want to save. This is when you want to save so you can come back to it. I'm gonna leave it there. Many new places become public restrooms. Exactly. With a piss funnel. What a night. Supper tissues. What now? Whack off. Okay, should I whack off? Or should I sleep like an angel? I'm kind of- we haven't had any sexual content yet. And- and we are talking about vulvas here in the, uh, in the chat. So I'm gonna say whack off. Oh my god! Do you hear that? A fog of lust overwhelms you. What is that? Was that- bloop! Check your phone. Yo, Mark, latest version of tanning spray turns nipples blue. I like this phone setup. How old is this? Would you call this a bug or a feature? Oh my, I love, okay, I'm sorry. The inner tech trash in me is living. Would you call this a bug or a feature? Okay. Defcon is not a concept that enters my mind when I am horny. What? Yeah, like I don't know what Defcon is. This beta testing is starting to wear thin. It's, it's a bug. It's a bug. Delay launch again. A second time! Oh, he went for a round two. If this was me, I'm gonna finish and then I'm gonna check my messages. No! What is going on? Oh my god, you'll see this. This is like barely censored. Oh no, stop. <laughs> He's so white. Okay. <sighs> wow. Monday. Monday, everyone. Um, you and Ian walked to campus together. I had to go with Zoe last night. Awful, we're still together. <laughs> Her move's coming up. I know I'm gonna be hauling her giant ass a moi up a flight of stairs. <laughs> How'd it go at the bar? It went okay, I guess. I'm just gonna be cool. Achievement awarded Grim Determination Climax. I want to see if that actually is on... I don't think you all can see my screen, but there are, like, achievements in coming out on top. I'm just gonna play it cool. It's cool trying something new. Brown chicken, brown cow. I feel like I should know what you are referencing, but I do not know what you are referencing. Um, kind of like the time I went scuba diving. I swear this. Why are you like disrupting my deep story? <laughs> it gave me this. Next thing you know, it was trying to crack my head open with a rock. Ian shudders. <laughs> you you take a seat at the back of the lecture hall. Ooh, I'm getting a sorry, let me get a message. Aha. Uh -huh. Um, and open your laptop. The lower division course should be a cakewalk. Scheduling conflicts have caused you to skip it for the past three years. Okay. You're stoked about taking the class now, but unlike most of the stressed out freshmen and sophomores around you, you'll be able to sit back and relax. We've had those moments. That is a nice lecture hall. Um, yeah, it's pretty standard to, I think, what I've seen. The lecture hall begins to fill up. You can hear a couple of students whispering next to you. Freshmen. Funny, now that you're a senior, they look so young. You hear the guy behind you mutter, I hear this guy's supposed to be really good. The girl next to him snorts, please, how good can a boring old anatomy class be? Just then the door behind you swings open, a man walks past you towards the lectern. The guy snickers, Holy shit, I take that back. I'm definitely going to office hours this semester. <laughs> Surprise! This, this can't be happening. Hello class, I'm Professor Davies. I am a new professor here at Orland. If he's new, how do you know that he's good? Hello, professor. Okay, what do we think? Do we like this? More 
or less. The, the outfit is a little, like, he could look better. It's simple. I think, you know what? I think, I think, I think, I think. <sighs> um. I think, I think, I think, I think, I think, I think, I think. If you go back without the beard, he looks better now. The beard almost clutters things up with the, uh... I just made him shave with the uh, outfit. Now he's like a sweet little nerd. Um, he gets the class laughing. Alex Davies, you sit in disbelief trying to retrieve your jaw from the floor. Alex Davies sounds like, like an AIDS activist back in like the 70s, like with Harvey Milk. I, and I'm thinking of Clive Clive Davis. That's what his name sounds like to me. Trying to retrieve your jaw from the floor. Use your classmates to listen attentively and take notes. You squirm in your chair, sinking lower and lower. Why are you embarrassed? Nothing happened. You figure a 13-inch laptop is enough to shield you from his gaze. But is it enough to shield your boner? Uh, okay. You cling to the hope he won't recognize you in this sea of faces. As for the class, maybe you'll borrow Ian's toasts after all, because there's no way in hell you're going to be able to concentrate now. You managed to sit through the longest 90 minutes of your life. But I mean, I guess his class was good. You fumble to get your stuff together, you nearly drop your laptop. Your hands feel disconnected from your brain, but somehow they finally shove your things into your backpack. You rush out of the auditorium in a daze. If this was me, I probably would have left something behind, because of course I would. When you stumble your towards your exit, you hear a voice call out behind you. Mock! <laughs> something... Okay. Well, something happened, but the professor was only there in spirit. This game feels like my best buds horny role plays from like 20 years ago. I want to know more about this best bud. 20 years ago was... I mean... 20 years ago was 2001. That, that was a different time. Absolutely. Something white was there anyway. <laughs> Mock! <laughs> Wait shit I'm going to act privately for a moment mark <laughs> i sound like ben de la creme's imitation of maggie smith as the lady from downtown abbey <laughs> my office is right down the hall <laughs> you feel your stomach drop your heart starts to race you hope to god alex can't tell how nervous you are damn you're really cornering him your cheeks feel like they've caught fire. A faint whiff of aftershave hits your nostrils, making you feel lightheaded. As if on cue, your mind races with a dozen different scenarios. Mark had no idea you <laughs> I, didn't, I, I attended this school. I couldn't fathom a student from this college would be in a bar so far from campus, especially the night before the first day of cl class. That's why you thought wrong. A total miscalculation on my part. I should have realized it was the only gay bar in Orland, right? But I want you to assure, as your professor, it would be totally inappropriate of me to pursue things any further. I bet, though, I feel like this game wants you to pursue things further. Like, I feel like there's to be boundaries crossed, like, farther than ac academic... What's What do they call it? Academic... Not academic dishonesty, but then there's, like, when you're in college and you do something you're not supposed to do. Your accent broke my internet for a moment there. Um, <laughs> sorry I went out the night before class, daddy. <laughs> um, I, I mean, he's you can totally fuck him this game. I swear to God. I just wonder how. I wonder how this game is going to go about it. Like, maybe your class ends. I mean, I hope he doesn't get sacked or something. Or you could probably quit. You could probably, like, quit his class. Listen, Mark, what I'm trying to say is I don't want to scare you off. I teach a me pretty mean anatomy class if I do say so myself. I think the class will be well worth it. And so, how I made things awkward enough between us yet? <laughs> it totally reminds me of last week's episode to catch a predator. Um... Oh, I wonder what my answer would be here. And see, again, I can't say I could use an anatomy lesson right now, Professor. 
Do we have do we have any strong um do we have any strong strong thoughts? Um that first response. <laughs> I mean, he was like, come to my office right now. Come over here. I'm I, 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 I might be playing this game too, too, anno too boring because I am I'm totally clicking the things that I would say. Listen to that enthusiasm. At least that response is there. Um, well, I think you enjoy my closest, but are what the fucking precip precipitous start? Precipitous like raining? Precipitous like precipitous start? Anyway, thanks for checking chatting with me, Mark. I'll see you next next. <laughs> I, I can't talk right now. Um, your head feels like you've taken one too many trips on a merry-go-round. Boy, what a distracting start to the semester. You hear footsteps and a voice coming around the corner. It's being retracted? Insufficient evidence? According to whom? Oh, I do apologize for my severe tone, but you must understand. The data. A heavy leather heel slams down right in front of your foot. Rude. Ow! So I guess you can fuck this guy too. Probably. Hey, watch it, kid. Who does he look like? He literally looks like Saul Goodman from Better Call Saul and Breaking Bad. Am I wrong? This is, I feel like this is before, is this before or after Breaking Bad? Because that is legit what he looks like. Hey, watch a kid. What the hell? You just stepped on my foot. That's what happens when you don't pay attention, son. Wait, wait, I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to some mouth breather. Oh, ill, and he has like a Bluetooth going on. Wait, splendid timing, you Claude. Okay, I'm gonna make you ugly. Oh no. <laughs> What's his name? Do we know his name yet? No, we don't know his name yet. Okay. Once I find out his name, I'm gonna make him ugly. Oh, he's already gone. Okay, a flash of light nearly blinds you. There you are! Petty, enough with the orange photos. Like, with more of a slender face. Yes. Don't be such a Luddite, Mark. I have to test my app in different lighting environments. Just remember, as my lead beta tester, you'll get access to the pro version of tanning spray as soon as it's available. And here I thought the light version was enough for little old me. Hmm, you look a little pale here. I'm gonna put up the saturation by 150%. I was waiting for you after class, but you took off with some dude. Oh, that's my professor. Whoa, didn't realize Norse gods stooped it. He's not that hot. He is not that hot. He literally is a white man that watches what he eats. Like, Thor, the guy that actually plays Thor in, I forget his name. He actually is kind of like Norse god-esque when he did like all that working out. Like, this is just a white man that cleans himself, okay? <laughs> teaching undergrads. I wonder if it's too late to switch majors? Actually. Penny is- yeah, you're not gonna- I- I don't trust these friends. I'm not gonna tell you a goddamn thing. Oh, him? I guess he's alright. I didn't really notice. Really? Really? You are the worst liar, Mark. I thought she was gonna say I totally saw him at the bar, but she didn't. Yeah, Chris Hemsworth. Okay, now if- now, if the professor was Cribs Hemsworth, maybe we could relax some, like, academic rules, academic probation stuff. Okay, professors. Thursday. I feel like, okay, I'm gonna play maybe one more day, and then we're gonna take a break. Hold that thought, Mark. Take a moment, you can get a whiff of that spring air. Romance is all around us. All I smell is dank weed. <laughs> I love that. And Ian's feet ill after he borrowed my shoes. See, Mark, here's the deal. Philbert's kind of shy, but other- Oh my god, she's trying to match me up with Philbert. A really sweet Philbert. He's just misunderstood like you always claim to be. I, I have a terrible confession. I used to try and fuck people because I would think that it would be hilarious or fucked up to do so. Like, I used to be like, this guy's got kind of like a funny face. He's a little bit socially awkward, but in, in kind of like 
an interesting way. What if I tried to fuck him? Like, I, I, I would do that, like, during my chaotic early 20s. So it led to some interesting experiences. Philbert. Who the heck is Philbert? I, I had a huge thing. The one, the one white guy that I was, like, big simping for was Jake Gyllenhaal. Until he revealed that he doesn't like to, to like, bathe a lot. And then I was like, ooh... I also like Leonardo DiCaprio. I was a big, I had a big thing for him from about when he was like 32 to like 38. Now he's like, he's like too old and he's still dating people way too young for him. So that by itself is like a turn off. But people were like really into him during his classical like Titanic days. I thought he was too skinny and like not really that cute back then. But then once he became like chunkier, I was like, ooh, okay. My cousin, I'll be picking up at the airport next week. I was thinking we all could have brunch together. You guys are gonna, I do love brunch. You guys are gonna get along so well. Penny, you know as much as I value our friendship, your gene pool scares the bejesus out of me. Stop trying to set me up. Okay, but like, hey, relax, I was joking. But okay, so far she's the most POC looking person in this game. So if we can, if we can get like a, like a, like a, Lick, lick of some color. I don't know who Filbert is yet. Um, I'm just asking you to hang out with. Okay, okay, okay. I, I'm gonna say yes to Filbert. If it president of the chess club, he played a pretty mean bassoon. Oh my, wait, a band geek who, okay, this reminds me of my friend Robert, who was a total nerd. And I like love him to bits. Like we had like a flirtation ship at one point that like didn't get anything beyond like a winky face. I'm talking like, this is like middle school, like we had like a winky face relationship and then that's all that problematic crushes. Yes. Um, I, I, you know, it's how to work them out. Stop. Okay. Okay. So like Philbert, talented, can play the bassoon, so enjoys music, smart, chess club misunderstood might be poc this is my best option yet this is my best option yet but we'll, let's see how he looks like jojo's cafe all nighters this is the place i would hang out in in um in college this is where i would be i was not exciting ian works here as a, okay so oh no who's ian oh wait does ian have multiple jobs he's a barista and he cleans up after monkeys okay Ian greets you as soon as you enter. Guys, I have awesome news. You got into that research program in South America? No, dude. I just got- <laughs> This guy's a fucking asshole. <laughs> Before I had to help Zoe move- Do I have an option to just like- I think it'd be fun if I punched him in the face. Like in a friendly way. Like that's what I want to do in this game. Not in a violent way, but in a friendly way. I need you guys to do me a favor though. Zoe wants to drop a cup. No! Why don't you- um, you should take care of your problems. I'm stuck here work, working here until 8. Will either of you be at the apartment around 5? Okay. His name is Ian, right? This is what we're gonna do. No! <laughs> Ian is now gonna have no beard and no body here. Ooh. He looks like... He looks like Zac Efron, but like more frat boy. Uh, we'll have to ask Mark. My comp got some virus. I gotta get to the lab early before the pervert making the porn game gets there. I want to see the porn game. Mark, buddy, you'll be there around five, right? I mean, this is a porn game. No, I have something to do. Maybe I've got a life. Did you ever think of that? Yeah, you're, you're a fucking asshole. Get lost, Ian. No offense, but you hardly go anywhere, dude. Ooh, maybe Mark's got a hot date. Why did you say no? This, this was the moment to lie. This was the right moment to lie. My time's valuable too. Whoa, easy cowboy. I'll just have Zoe drop off my thing some other time then. But you know, if I do get to that grad program, you totally have to visit me and spend a few weeks down there. What are you gonna do for me, Ian? South America, it's gonna be amazing. It could happen if you could save at least 800 bucks for the airfare by the end. Oh, if I could save. Ooh, maybe I can get a job in this game. A month in the rainforest, I pr predict within two days a troop of, I don't know how to say this either. Why do I want to say it's macaws? We'll be ransoming you for a bushel of bananas. Thanks, but no thanks. 
only one bushel. That's fucked up. Isn't a bushel a lot? I, personally, I'd say you're worth at least two bushels. All right, enough chit chat, you monkeys. I'm starving. Let's see the special. There's too much banter in this game. Ian calls you from his room. Dude, I didn't mean to imply you were- Whoa, a loser. What is this shirt? What's going- This looks like Cochina Rude's dog. <laughs> a loser earlier. I know you have a life. You got your, uh, Ona thing going on. You've always been on your own person. Never chased trends, never cared about others. Okay, thanks, Ian. But anyway, it's over. Me and Zoe broke it off for good. Congratulations, it's a major step. Is this where I hit on him? Because I'm not feeling this at all. It's been a week, big week for you too. I suppose it has. By the way, have you told your parents yet? Who are my parents? I want to know. Um, because my parents are supposed to be me and Eddie. That's the joke that I was making. Have you told your parents yet? No. Okay, I mean, you better be telling your parents soon because I don't know if his parents are going to appear in this, but his parents are supposed to be me and Eddie because I named him Fan Ruiz. They're like hardcore liberals, aren't they? <laughs> I would call me and Eddie liberals. <laughs> You know, I said how gay in front of them once when I was 10 and they corrupted me. So you'd think coming out would be easy. I don't know what this guy's problem is. Like, I don't know. I'm, I'm their only kid. I don't know why, but I think they've got some vision of me and my picture perfect future in their heads. You know, wife, kids. It's so it's been weird. I know I shouldn't be, but I'm freaking out about it. Yeah, I get it. It's scary, dude. No matter how cool they are, it's your mom and dad. I mean, I've run this scenario in my head a hundred times already. I keep telling myself they'll be cool, but you just never know. Maybe I'm overthinking it. This, like, I tend to, but the timing has to be right. The words have to be right. I want everything to be right. Am I gonna go back to that cafe? Because I was really excited about meeting Filbert, you all. I don't want, like, whatever development here is happening. I'm not really interested in that. Checking out tomorrow when I'm awake. I love seeing people in pain because I have problems. So looking forward to y'all sweating and wheezing in death. I like, I think half the fun is, I think Sean is the name of the interviewer. He, the, the guests are in pain. They're like crying. And he's just literally, he throws them the hardest interview question at that moment. And I think it's, yes, tear off that terrible shirt. <laughs> There's a lot going on because look, if we got rid of, like, if we got rid of this and these, like, if we got rid of the ring thingies, it, it would be better. But there's just, there's too much going on here. It looks like he was trying to play baseball, but he also, it's like a combination of a baseball shirt plus Hot Topic, plus like a design that someone drew. Comfortable situation to begin with. Who ever has to talk about sexuality with their parental units otherwise? Sorry, dude. Yeah, but easier than most. I'm just, you know, not 100% certain about how they'll react. I mean, their reaction was fucking gross, in my opinion. It was like, you're gay? <gasps> okay. Like, it was like, like, really, you're gonna be shocked. Um, okay. I'm here for support if you need me. Um, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Ew, no. I was looking. Where's Filbert? Where is Filbert? Where is Filbert? Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is gonna be last day and then I'm gonna jump off you all because I have to get Eddie on the computer so he can make my poster. This is literally his, his, um, his, his ringtone is La, is it, is it La Bamba or La Cucaracha? La Cucaracha, La Cucaracha. Like, it, it's such a, it's such a funny ringtone. Where have you been, sweetie? We didn't get your Sunday call. It's been over a week since we talked. We've been worried about you. Okay, so he's literally gonna come out right now. They love you. Um, what is it, sweetie? How come How come I don't have a face? I, this is me. I have long hair now. Or, or, that, or that profile is like my face and I just have like wiggly spots, splotchiness all over my body. Uh, your hands start shaking and you drop the phone. Mom, I need to tell you something, the both of you. Mark, is something wrong? Are you okay? No, I mean, yes, I mean, okay, whatever. Look, I'm gay. You're gay. My son, you're gay? Yes. Oh, Mark. I wish I could hug my little baby so hard right now. This is, this is cliche. I, I wish it would be really cool if you could alter what kind of, like if you could change it. 
based off of either how you har how hard you want this game to be or it to mirror like your own parents. I don't know. It's just really interesting. You're okay with this? Of course. What sort of people do you think we are? You know we don't care. We love you. Why would such a little detail- I mean, it's not a little detail. Makes make a difference. Besides, having a gay son is- is like what having a lesbian daughter was in the 90s. So hit- What? What? So hit? Was- Was this a thing in the 90s? Wait till I tell Margaret. Ooh, she'll be so steamed. Terrible. Uh, why? Hip. Exactly. What was, what was the response to the why? When I came out, it was actually embarrassing. Um, well, not embarrassing. My sister came out, and I piggybacked off of that. Because my mom was like, did you hear that Ellen is, like, bi? She says that she likes women. And I was like, yeah, me too, mom. Oh. And she was like, fuck, both your daughters. Um, or, or, both her daughters. What? I'm kidding, your mom can tell those jokes right now. You can't. No, you can't. Y you stay in your lane. What about dad? He's okay with this? Stanley, our son is gay. Ew, his name is Stanley. Your father says, hang on, he's talking to me. You know how I can't concentrate with both of you talking to me at once? Your father says, well, he knows some... He says he knows someone with a gay son your age. Oh? Oh, boy. The 411, Stanley. Your father says this young man is in med school, doesn't smoke, and drives a hybrid. Why is this everyone's first reaction is like, I can hook you up? That's... Like, is this... I don't think this is normal. This is like... Like, they're thinking... They're thinking too many steps ahead. Because, like... <laughs> doesn't smoke and is in med school. Um, there's, like, some weird people in med school. Uh, drives a hybrid. Oh, these are liberals. <laughs> Mom... Nothing wrong with the doctor, right? Everyone wants to marry a doctor. I don't know. I've heard some things. Um, I want, I want, I want, like, work, work life. What's it called? Like, work balance, work life balance. I want work life balance, okay? I, I don't, could I have work life balance if, if Eddie was a doctor? Absolutely not. Mary, I haven't even dated yet. Stanley, I don't think Mark wants to date. A surgeon. You know they have ridiculous hours. Exactly, see? Exactly. What about a dermatologist, sweetie? That man be more your speed. Would a podiatrist float your boat? Is his parents doctors? That would be nice. Parents. Actually, I think it would be worse if my parents had even more money than they did and they chose still not to spend it on me. I've heard those stories. Um, Honestly, the dermatologist has got me thinking. I don't know about a podiatrist. The podiatrist might be okay. It's okay, really. Don't worry, sweetie. Your father says he has a lot of connections at the hospital. That's really great of him, but he wants to know if you prefer... Oh my... Are you... This is this is cringe. When was, when was this game made? This is embarrassing. Top, bottom, reverse. Compa he thinks he knows a good... This is... Okay, doctor is just as terrible as anyone else, but you barely have to see them and you'll have enough money to finally get that PlayStation you want. That's, that's, that's a good point. Um, I, I'm trying to think if I joked about buying Eddie a PS5. I think he didn't want one that badly, so I didn't. Um, <laughs> uh, also, like, they're still sold out, but unless you're a this is disgusting. This is bad. Are you? I love you guys, but gotta go. Oh, my phone shut down. Um, sorry, give me one second. So, oh, no, 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 this is bad. This means I can't read y'all's messages until I, okay. So I will just, I will just switch back and forth between like OBS so I can see these messages. Love you guys. Gotta go. What a week. Ooh, you finally got some downtime this weekend. Ah, oh, here's Lady Camden. So you can you can hang out with your fish. In terms of your studies, you're close to flunking out. What? I feel like he just started. You and Penny are getting along. Who's Penny? Is Penny the purple? <laughs> oh, already went. Who's Penny? <laughs> well, these days. You and E are on friends. Okay, so this is kind of like the end of the week sort of like summary. And finally, you've got $100. How did I get $100 in savings? 
You don't have anything major planned. How will you spend your extra time this weekend? It came inside me with your roommates. Get a head start on a term paper. Tutor at the Student Learning Center for some extra cash. I know something happens if I go here. Well, I kind of like know what happens. Um. Uh, what should I do? Okay, my, my phone is back. I should, I should really stop after this. But, hold up, hold up. Okay. Um, if anyone's commented anything in the last, like, two minutes, I didn't get it. Um, okay, but if I, if I, if I do this, I don't know if someone's gonna show up, but I kinda wanna hang out with them again. Or get a head start on a term paper. I, so I know what happens if I go here. But I, I kind of want to be surprised because most of this has been kind of like I've seen it before. Okay, you know what? Um, I'm going to go ahead and it says I have three viewers, by the way. But like when I actually go on the more info, it says one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's interesting. Um, I'm going to I'm going to spend some money and watch a game inside me. This movie has a god-awful plot, but spectacular 3D effects. Penny screams are loud, but Ian's shrieks are louder. You cheer when the skeezy villain gets chlamydia and gets his comeuppance. I wonder if this is going to be a mini-game. Your relationship has improved with both roommates. Okay. Oh, that was it. Wow. That was anticlimactic. I'm just going to go a little bit longer. And of course, you don't feel like studying. Be off to Lumberjacking Volume 3. Maybe let's study. See, Lady Camden, you can't go around chained to the insatiable demands of lust. I mean, look how ridiculous humans are trying to fulfill our carnal desires. Um, in oftentimes the basest and most degrading of ways. Penicillin. What a horrible fate. It's pathetic. We act at the behest of hormones that magnify every desire, every urge, until we are overwhelmed and enslaved by our own chemistry. Can... Can one be said to be human when acting in such a manner? Yes. Or is that in fact the most human behavior of all? What the? Weird. Guess it was a sonic boom. Anyway, back to... Okay, I know what happens here. And this is where we're gonna end it. But I'm gonna make- I'm gonna have y'all make me- make a decision for me. The noise seems to be coming from the apartment directly up above yours. You hear your roommates convene in the living room. What is this bullshit? It sounds like our upstairs neighbor. It sounds like Godzilla. Getting fisted by King Kong. Mental note, Google for rule 34 of polit- <laughs> Cringe. One of us should go see what's up. Now, which of us has the requisite social skills to handle this with diplomacy and finesse? Ha, is this even a real question? What am I if not charismatic? Are you kidding, Ian? The last time you got a word with our neighbors, our tires got slashed. Remember now, the police couldn't prove it was them. True, multiple people in this building want to slash our tires. Well, I'm going to handle this my way. Peer review. Peer review? I'm going to threaten them with a nasty rating on rateyourneighbor.com. My god, you've gone mad with power. I love that. They have all these check bo boxes you can mark. I'll tell them that unless they knock it off, I'm dinging them for being noisy and inconsiderate. Hey, about those tire slashings. Not my fault, okay? Because, well, I'm a charming personal guy, right? You know this. Tell me you know this. Sure, you're Mr. Charismatic. Why am I spending more time with him? I don't want to fuck my roommate. What did you think of when we first hold back? Um... I thought you were high until I realized, no, you weren't high. This is your natural personality. Annoying, but I'm getting over it slowly. I didn't like you at all. You seem like a typical overbearing bro type. I thought you were hot. You need to relax, Ian. You're psyching yourself out. I, bunch of carrots. I am between bro type and high. Like, this seems like it's going to set up some, like, antagonize, antagonization, but... Maybe this one? Or annoying. Oh man, you always manage to say the right thing. Penny, what happened? There are no checkboxes for what I just saw. You better go up there, dude. 
but I thought you wanted to take care of this. Not saying it was my fault or anything that one time, but I just bought new tires, man. Ooh, wait a minute. Calling police is bad. I think that one bro, but wouldn't say it. I kind of want to call the police. Okay, this is a white game. So no, I don't think we're going to have police brutality here. I know who's, I actually, I know who's like upstairs. It's like this like tattooed Asian guy. But like, I don't want to fuck him because he's being rude. <laughs> okay, I'm not, I would never do this in real life, you all. I'm going to call the police because I'm kind of curious what's going to happen. You almost hear the dispatcher roll her eyes as she promises they'll send an officer as soon as they can. You return to your room. You switch on some music and drown out your upstairs neighbor. The sound of easy listening smooths your frayed nerves. Back to studying, Lady Camden. You know, little buddy, I enjoy spending time with you. Sure, you're not a dog or cat, but you've got your own scaly charisma. Okay, I guess that was the end. So, yeah, that guy was like this hot... He was this hot, tatted Asian dude. A cab and all multiverses, that's right. Well, nothing happened anyway. But, um, I'm gonna save... Okay, I'm gonna overwrite that, because I think that's fine. Um, yeah, so it was like this Asian dude, and he was completely naked, I think. And he was looking for his grinder date. And if you want, you can say that you are his grinder date. And the name is like Dirty Cum Slut 69 or something like that. It's, I think it's literally more or less akin to that. But yeah, thanks all, and bye!